BZ Mill Express is a powerful 2.5D CAD CAM system. You can import CAD files from engineers who can provide standard formats. You can import DXF, PWG, IGIS, and EPS. There is a wizard for every feature on your part. Now let's get started. The first thing we're going to look at is our coordinate system. Right now it's in the middle of the part. But let's say we want to stick it in the upper right hand corner where you might have a vice stop. So we have what they call world on model. Here we're going to use the top of the part, the upper right hand corner, and we're going to set our stock for simulation. And if you want to, you can give it extra stock, additional stock in any of the axes. You'll see our coordinate systems in the upper right hand corner. Positioning our coordinate system is faster and easier than ever before. Now I want to show you our can cycle wizards. Removing stock around our park couldn't be easier. We're going to use a facing cycle. Here you're asked for the tool number, diameter, your feeds and speed, the overall depth of cut. If we don't want to cut at full depth, we can step it in Z. Stock allowance, how much we're leaving for finish, then the step over of the tool. Select your stock and then your part. We'll verify our tool path. Removing that stock allowance is just as easy. We're going to use a contour can cycle. Tool number, cutter comp, the value in your register at your machine, diameter, beads and speed, depth. We'll remove the finish allowance, offset direction left for climb milling. If you're going to use cutter comp, and an automatic lead in and lead out and select your part. Here's our automatic lead in and lead out. These circular regions are islands, so we're going to face the part boundary, not the stock. We've already removed that material. So we're going to go back to a facing cycle. Our depth of cup for the islands are going to be an eighth of an inch. Select your part, then each individual island. Now we'll machine our pockets. We'll use a pocket can cycle. go back and we'll change this to tool number two. We'll use a quarter of an inch. We'll go full depth because we're going to use high speed machining. And then select all of your pockets. Those are deep pockets, so I don't want to plunge straight down as I get to my depth. So we'll open up our pocket can cycle, go to advance, then you have plunge options. We'll use a zigzag, plunge distance of maybe 0.2 and an angle of 35 degrees. One last contour, then we're going to move on to our holes. Now we go to our hole can cycle.
You have different cycle types to choose from, and we're going to select Deep Pull. Now you select your first hole, then the second hole of the same diameter, and it will find all of those holes. And we'll move on to the next set. You get an overall machine time for your job. Then lastly, your G-code. We want you to feel confident that you can cut parts the very same day your package arrives. You receive one year support and maintenance and you own the software for life when you make this investment. We have hundreds of custom post processors that are included with the EasyCam software, so you don't have to worry about the code your machine requires. Let us run your machine for you and get you started today.